Welcome, everybody. Our coverage of the Division Series here on ESPN continues as the series moves from New York in Yankee Stadium to Minneapolis and the Metrodome. The Yankees and the Twins ready to go at it. This series is tied at 1-1. Great to have you with us, everybody. We are looking the lineup for the Yankees brought to you by Mr. Myers Squibb. You take a look. The Yankee lineup game one did not look like this. Joe Torre didn't like what he saw, so he changed it. It's the same lineup he used in game two. Johnson has been moved down in the order. He wants Soriano and Jeter to be together at the top. It worked in game two, so he'll stick with it here in game three. And our starting pitchers, a birthday boy, Jeff. Kyle Loesch has got to be able to change speeds, especially early in this ball game. These Yankee hitters are really going to try to sit on his fastball. He's got to get the ball down. You see the birthday boy today, third major league season. Swung on and chopped to short. Guzman's got it. <laughs> David, how about tough appearances where he has had a decision against the Yankees in his young career? And Jeter's gone. Two two. So let's take a look at the lineup for Ron Garden hires Minnesota Twins. This is a lineup that total is hitting 173 lifetime against Roger Clemens, the starter for the Yankees. Today. Well, there's no way that this lineup is going to be successful if, the, if they're intimidated in the least bit. And we all know what Roger is going to try to do, especially early in this ball game, set the tone. He may not, he may not drive the ball at somebody's head, but you can be in, and they would take it because they're leaning so far out of the plate. Three two delivery on the way, and there's a leadoff walk. Let's see how this plays out. Let's check in with Kyle Ravage. Kyle. And it's Stewart at first base, not a big lead. Not going. And that one hit in the air to right. Rivera's there. Puts that one away. Hunter tags what will stay at first base. And as we learned in the Marlins game, from now on in this postseason, any fly ball will not be called an out. He is six and six. Lifetime. Runner goes. It's taken. Jorge Posada is there and didn't get him. Jeter could not get the tag on. Stolen base. And as we're, as we're talking, there's a cheater getting a tag on him. That's a great slide. Now you got a runner in scoring position. Mankiewicz's ground ball played by Soriano. They get the second out of the inning. And Stewart moves over to third base now with two down. When you talk about the Minnesota Twins, stealing bases, bunting, hitting and running, playing the small part of the game. Outs 4,099 regular season case. And he adds another right there. Almost like he needed it, so he just went out and got it. No runs, no hits, and a base runner left on at third. Scoreless. You have to disrupt him any way you can. And Williams would not get back in. That one drilled into the corner. That's why they do it. That's going to take a hop off the wall. Williams makes the turn. He'll lead to second. Jack Jones's throw. Not in time, and Bertie Williams has a double, leading off the second inning. See, facing Carlos, you know you're going to get a fastball. He has played very well on the road anyway, but here they have really gotten the job done. That'll move the runner up. Mankiewicz has got to play that to the bag. And Williams is down to third base with one away. We'll check in with Kyle Ravitch. Kyle going to move in. Garden higher figure, and this one's going to be close. And that won't matter. Way back into right field. The only issue is how far. Goodbye, home run, Matsui. A two run shot, and the Yankees have a two to nothing lead. Did somebody say Godzilla? Jones and Wright never moved. Now he's had an opportunity to sit over there and watch Cal Lowe throw all these fastballs and throw them up in the zone. Real quiet. And see, this is what you want to do when you're playing in the other team's ballpark, is get the crowd out of the game and keep them out of the game. Then there is no noise factor. Third strikeout as Boone chased a breaking ball down and away. Two down. Other pitches, something to keep the guys off of your fastball. That one moved away, high chopper. Kavich the flip, Loesch is there. And that will retire the side, but not before damage done. Two runs, two hits, and Suey the blast, the home run, Yankees leading. 
after second inning, but Roger Clemens, he's got the ability to turn it up unlike anybody I've ever seen. That's a high chopper to Soriano. Easy play for him. The flip. And Jones is retired. Let's check in uh, downstairs with Dave Ryan. Dave. I get it. So there. <laughs> Point counterpoint. There you go. Hunter takes that one in the air to right field. In a moment, he's going to be old for 21 against Roger Clemens. Two down. Clemens has owned him. And wanting a two-out rally to start here. Uh-uh. The strikeout by Clemens is going to be his second. He retires the side in order. And the Yankees in the series that's tied at 1-1 have a two-nothing lead in this game. This is an organization that prides itself, okay, and they're not going to have any malcontents around. Towards the hole. Knocked down, there'll be no play. Went off Koski's glove initially. It'll be an infield hit. Let's check in with Carl. The middle. 2 2 count, runner at first base. Good. Breaking ball down and away. Set him up. That'll be the fourth strikeout for Loesch. More great. Two ball, two strike delivery. Up the middle, quickly. Base hit. Rivera makes a turn. He'll stay as Hunter will get it back in. It gets away, but it's backed up. So Jeter's got himself a base hit, two on and one down. And you see how quickly that ball got through the middle. When they take those 2 0 -oh fastballs, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> he just hung his head. That one hit in the air towards center. Runners not tagging. Hunter's there to make the play, and there is a very big out. Lee Mazzilli, first base coach of the Yankees, wearing a mic for us. He talked with Derek Jeter when he got over there. Postseason at bats, hits, and runs. That one to center field, a big base hit. Rivera makes the turn and will score. And an RBI single and a 3 0 lead for the Yankees. So Williams having himself a big day, two for two, a run scored and an RBI already. David, he did exactly the fastball, especially in this situation. Big trouble. Runners are going 3-2-2 two, two down, and he got him. And he has five strikeouts. But the Yankees get another run. Bernie Williams delivered the base hit. Yankees leave two on. They lead it 3 0 Runners will go about four rows back. 3-2 pitch, that one deep to right field. That is way back. Goodbye. Home run. Well, with a three-run lead, you know Rock is not going to walk you. He's going to give him a fastball and, and see if he can hit it. And Krasinski gets a great swing on this, excites his crowd. Here, postseason home run. And that one to center field, Bernie Williams. Guzman's fly ball will be easily handled, and there's one away here in the third. We'll check in again with how great a player Pudge Rodriguez was. I mean, this guy's a perennial all star. That one hit on a shot, but an atom ball. That's Suey right there to put it away. Stewart is retired, and there are two down. I want to remind you tonight on ESPN. 745 Eastern college football is going to come your way ranked number seven Tennessee Casey Kloss and a QB they will take on Auburn college game day scoreboard at 730 Eastern time college football on this Saturday. Great to have you with us here at the Metrodome. There are two down now had some shots hit off Clemens one of them out the other two outs Rivas fly out his first time up he pops that one up second base. Alfonso Soriano waving off the outfield and he will put it away. But the Twins get on the board with a homer. It's now 3 1. 